Thank you, Sergeant Saylor. Uh, approximately two weeks ago, on Sunday, July 27th at 1.45 in the afternoon, there was a violent confrontation between two motorcycle gangs, the Set Free Soldiers and the Hells Angels inside Blackie's by the Sea, which is a popular oceanfront bar here in Newport Beach. There was obviously a prearranged meeting between ranking leaders of each organization inside the bar. This was not a chance encounter. Four Set Free Soldiers, including Philip Aguilar, arrived first and awaited the arrival of the Hells Angels. Five Hells Angels arrived and met with Aguilar and the Set Free members. At this point, an additional 10 Set Free Soldiers, wearing motorcycle gang attire, filed in and surrounded the Hells Angels. There was a heated exchange between the two groups, and then a punch was thrown by one of the Hells Angels. After that, a melee ensued inside the bar. We believe members of the Set Free Soldiers produced knives and proceeded to stab two of the Hells Angels. One of the Hells Angels retaliated by picking up a billiard ball from a nearby table and struck a Set Free Soldier over the head. Everyone involved, including the injured, then left the bar. The Newport Beach Police Department received an emergency call stating that a fight involving, and I quote, a bunch of biker guys was occurring inside the bar. Our responding officers located and stopped numerous subjects fleeing the area on foot and in a vehicle. We stopped a vehicle containing three of the set free soldiers and recovered four knives, including two with blood on the blade. In total, we located 16 subjects who were identified as set free soldiers. However, these individuals were less than cooperative with regard to what had occurred within the bar. None of the Hells Angels who received stab wounds contacted the officers or complained to the department following the incident. Since we had limited information as to what had occurred, the set free soldiers were released after being identified. It was later determined that the entire confrontation was captured on video inside the bar and this aided Newport Beach detectives in identifying the illegal actions of various motorcycle gang members involved. Detectives from the Anaheim Police Department and the Riverside County Sheriff's Department joined the investigation and assisted us in identifying individuals visible in the video. On Monday, August 4th, detectives from the Newport Beach Police Department obtained search warrants for seven different locations in Costa Mesa, Anaheim, and Rancho Santa Margarita, and also obtained 11 arrest warrants for those individuals identified as being involved in the violent confrontation. With the assistance of several agencies, the warrants were served starting in the early morning hours of Wednesday, August 6th, and an additional search warrants were being obtained and served since then, as recently as today. The service of these search and arrest warrants was a huge undertaking and could not have been done without the assistance and full cooperation of the following agencies, many of which are represented here today. The Anaheim Police Department, the Costa Mesa Police Department, the Orange County Sheriff's Department, the Orange County District Attorney's Office, the Orange County Probation Department, the Santa Ana Police Department, the North Orange County SWAT Team, the DEA, the Orange County Auto Theft Task Force, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department, and the Riverside County District Attorney's Office. In total, over 300 officers, investigators, SWAT team members, crime scene investigators, and evidence technicians were involved in this operation. In particular, the Anaheim Police Department provided a tremendous amount of their time and resources in assisting us in this investigation. The Newport Beach Police Department is grateful for everyone's assistance, and I'd like to note that this is just another example of the outstanding level of cooperation that exists between law enforcement agencies here in Orange County and in Southern California. I know that the Set Free Soldiers and Philip Aguilar, as seen in this photograph, have been portrayed in the media as everything from Christian bikers to a church led by Pastor Phil. However, based on their history, their activities in this particular case, and from the evidence that's been seized here today, I believe you'll draw a completely different conclusion. Keep in mind that this is an ongoing investigation into the events surrounding this case, and we're continuing to evaluate all of the evidence recovered. Now at this point, I'd like to turn over, this back over to Sergeant Evan Saylor to discuss some of the additional details of this case, including those individuals we arrested, the charges filed, and the evidence seized pursuant to the warrants. Sergeant Saylor. Thank you, Captain Desmond. Yeah, uh, all the information.